Glad you're streaming with us. Well, it's a California murder case that has gripped our attention and spawned speculation for more than two decades. Scott Peterson and the death of his wife, Lacey. Now the Innocence Project says it has new evidence. A status conference is underway for Peterson right now, who was convicted in 2004 of murdering his wife and their unborn child. He's already spent years behind bars for those murders, but the Los Angeles Innocent Project which is representing Peterson now, says new evidence could actually exonerate him. Our ABC News Live anchor, Kana Whitworth, is outside that San Mateo County courthouse right now. She's been following this since the news broke, actually, about the project representing Peterson now. So he's attending this status hearing remotely. Tell us about this new evidence, Kana, um, that the LA Innocence Project says it has, and do you think it could be enough for a new trial? Yeah, I mean, Kara, look, ultimately that is up for the judge to decide, but the L.A. Innocence Project certainly thinks so. A lot of it hinges on DNA. They want new DNA testing, and that is what they do, right? The L.A. Innocence Project takes on cases that they believe that DNA testing can exonerate their clients, and they believe that technology has changed a lot over the last 20 years. So they're asking for new testing, and that will be uh, heard in court on May 29th. They will decide exactly what the L.A. Innocence Project will have access to and what they can retest. But also, Kira, they're going over the past trial and past filings. And the LA Innocence Project is saying the defense team never really had access to everything that they needed at the time of the initial trial. But the next time, Kira, that we see Scott Peterson in court will be April 16th. And that is a motion to seal. And one thing that was really interesting in court today was that we learned that the LA Innocence Project has heavily redacted several of their motions. And they said that they had to do that because there's witness names in there, names that they feel need to be kept private because according to them their witnesses fear retaliation from the Modesto Police Department Kira hmm so you actually well that makes you even more curious right you actually had a chance to interview the former fire investigator I remember when this first broke he's at the crux of the innocent project filing um, tell us more about what he thinks of what's happening today what he told you when you sat down with him just his thoughts on this whole um, resurfacing of this case yeah, Kira, you're right. He is at the crux of all of this. His name is Brian Spatolsky, and he was the one that was called out on Christmas Day to this burned-out van. It was about a mile from the Peterson home. And what the LA Innocence Project is saying is that it needs to be investigated if this van is somehow connected to a robbery that happened across the street from their home at the time of Lacey Peterson's disappearance. And according to Spatolsky, you know, he said that this van, it clearly had been burned to conceal some kind of evidence. And he said there was a mattress in the back of the van with these, you know, red and brown stains on it. And he said that th those need to be retested. He also said that it was really curious to him how this van was set up because this is an area where apparently people do this to vehicles, but typically they would strip them, Kira, right? They'd take out the radio, they would take off the rims of the van. None of that was done. And so again, he believes all of this needs to be reassessed and see if it is in fact connected, Kira. Kena Whitworth, appreciate it so much. And you can learn more about the case and the Innocent Project's claims on Impact by Nightline. Scott Peterson, The Wrong Man, now streaming on Hulu. New episodes drop every Thursday. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.